Good morning. You're welcome to today's daily devotional for Friday, April 30th, 2021. Our topic for today is the harvest will surely come. Yes. For everything we sow, we will surely reap. We're reading from Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 to 22. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took some of every clean animal and some of every bir clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the intentions of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Our memory verse is taken from the book of James chapter 5 verse 7. It says, Be patient thereof, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruits of the earth, and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Hmm. Our topic for today again says the harvest will surely come, for that which every man sweat, he shall surely reap. The time between sowing and harvesting could be short or long depending on the type of seed. Yes, the time frame for harvesting yams is different from the time frame for harvesting cassava, even though they are both tuber fruit, uh, foods. The time frame for harvesting okra is different from the time frame of harvesting corn, even though they both grow on stalk. But you know, you plant a seed, it takes time, it has its own time and season, rain and dry season for it to flourish and for you to reap the rewards, the harvest. Some, some plants are biannual, some are annual, some are even once in two, once in three years. Depends. Just like animals' gestation period is varies as well. Human gestation period is nine months for animals, for chickens, for dogs, for whatever it is. They are all different. So when you plant something, be sure that you have to wait patiently for you to reap it. Why do we say so? As children of God, we must learn to wait. Romans 12 verse 12 says, Your attitude while waiting must be such that you are always rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation continuing in instant continuing instant in prayer sadly some believers are too much in a hurry to take their harvest they engage in anti-christian practices and end up bring, burning their spiritual fingers in the fire of lust and greed what do we mean sometimes you work in an organization and you see the way funds are being remitted you see the way things are going the money doesn't belong to you you're in such a hurry, you just want to get rich or you want to just enjoy this fruits of another person's labor. Just because you work there, you feel you're entitled to taking one or two things. And before you know, you get yourself into bad deals, into taking things that don't belong to you, to taking money that has not been given to you. You see, the same attitude you have towards other people's business is the same attitude you eventually have towards other, your own business when you start. Same attitude you have when you have, uh, you live in someone's house, it's the same attitude you have when you live in your own house. You know, you have to invest in character, invest in your time, invest in your attitude, because that is what you definitely reap. We do, cannot hurry beyond ourselves, we cannot hurry beyond God. We should pray in life that God will take us to the destination we will hope and pray to get to at his own time while we wait patiently for the God's time which is always the best. The harvest will surely come. I pray today that God himself will give us a bountiful harvest, will give us the spirit of patience and will help us to wait on him patiently in Jesus name. If you learned anything today and you love what you heard, please click on the button below, turn on notification, please share with your family and your friends and join us tomorrow for another wonderful edition. Thank you very much and God bless you.